Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one, because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are, because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. She was already grown up. Which you did out of respect for her. Question your choices, Cassandra, but never doubt them. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. If only he had shared his burden. We only knew him as he presented himself to be, but who's to say that wasn't his true self? This war has taken so many. Even Brasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I could have helped him more. He was on my side. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. Apparently, soldiers found Cleon on the beach. A casualty of war, perhaps? Couldn't say. It's hard to recall what happens in the heat of battle. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Remember how Cassandra took the monger to task for all of Corinth to see? That would shoot a drama. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To Athens, and our promise to return the city to its former glory. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs>
all that impression they left on. I wonder how many scraps every boss has received from Cleon's table. Every boss has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Ermipos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates, else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Ermipos should say what he wants? They're only words. Hermipos should be able to say what he wants. No matter what he says. What if he devoted his life to slandering you? Not just in Athens, but throughout the land. Saying what he wants doesn't mean he would escape my spear. Then everything we say has a consequence, even if we are allowed to say it. A an intriguing thought, wouldn't you agree? If you have such an issue with Hermipos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to. But I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Ermipos. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Once Ermipos is in front of you, what are you going to say? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I promise you it will be a grand spectacle. It almost sounds like you're jealous of Ermipos. Ha! Me? Envious of him? Making someone sad is easy, but making someone laugh takes true skill and talent. Wherever Ermipos is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start. There'll be trouble if I'm spotted here.
work away from here. Now! Doesn't look like Armipos is here. I should take a look around. This is a lot of money for someone like Ermipos. Explains his residence, at least. Like Cleon made notes for Ermipos on his play. Everyone's a writer. from the cult of Cosmos. Hermipos must be a member.
There is Imaton. What is it? I couldn't find Hermippos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Hermippos and the cult, I'd imagine. Hermippos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah. <sighs> Yes, you deserve a play of your own. What is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. my step around here. Good 
το άδικο Νεστίν. They won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. happening over there. Ah! Uh. 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 Uh.
expect to win this easily. Crash, Ash, stay by me. That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. Socrates the horse thief. I can almost hear the stories they'll tell. Aristophanes will love this. Unfortunately, those stories would be entirely fabricated. Although, I would like to see if you believe the story should still be told once you know the truth. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. A loco ton tamala. Soy Petio. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Hold it! escape. Something so 
You the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystios judge me. Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had the Drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Did you steal the horse to use it or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There's no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. Any reason you picked this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Have you decided what should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It'll do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the Lord. 
Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. 